Berlin was built on sand. In a biblical sense, perhaps not the best choice. At one stage, Berlin was completely covered by the sea. Atlantis reversed, if you like. It's the first thing they tell you when you arrive in the city. They make it sound as though the water has only recently receded, where in fact, it all happened millions of years ago. And still, whenever you come across roadworks, you think you're at the seaside because they dig up nothing but sand. The workmen often sit on the sand with their sandwiches and beer. The traffic around them sounds like surf. The mid-morning or afternoon breeze in Berlin often comes in off the open sea like another breach of trust. And if you've ever lived near the sea as Helen did in Dublin, you will always be prey to images of water and maritime weather. The occasional drizzle that covers the city is familiar, a kind of minimal rain that can be detected by day only on the eyelashes of pedestrians, by night against the headlights of a car. Perhaps in Berlin they harbor subliminal thoughts that the city is somehow on lease from the sea, that someday a tidal wave will come back to reclaim the lost sea floor, and Berliners will find themselves once again at the bottom of the Baltic. And hid uh, Urskil uh, Eilshime no vi untedl er surrogate city. Augustus Toche Gabation Tedl er Mohil der Fad, Kur, kur sort uh, Gulme Egoni in art, Exul, art, contour toch art, Nachwil Tischkind Agamer. <laughs> 